Hello guys, Raptor here, and today we are on oil racing here, and we're just in the practice session here before we do a 12 minute race, I believe, in Summit Point race, right? Raceway in the Formula V cars. Um, so, we'll just get a, a, let's just, I'll put a lap of practice in this video. Hopefully we don't crash here in practice. But well, we'll have the full race, um, and, and we will have our qualifying lap. I'll probably be qualifying near the back because I'm much better in race pace in Formula V cars than I am qualifying pace, but I'm not that much better actually. I'm still it's pretty slow, and you see we have locked up straight away. And there's a car stopped ahead, don't know how close he is, he's 7 seconds ahead, so nothing to worry about. I do like this track, I like this car especially, I think this is a great track, track and car combination, especially in the race. Cause you can easily take that corner flat without having to have little to no correction, you know? Um, and her here really don't lift, nearly. And then here you can lock up some, people can lock up here. Lock up full speed right now. And here you can take it in third or second gear. I usually shift down to second, just to get a bit more exit speed. I think it works better for me. Then through here the little S section basically flat. Sometimes you have to have a little lift here, especially if someone's like right, right behind you or right in front of you. I've uh, experienced that in hard ways. I'm in D class right now with not that really not good um, safety rating 2.15. So I really need to have a clean race this race to uh, get that back up to at least their 20s because I really want to get to my C-Class license by the end of this season. I forgot to ship it before, that's just how much concentrate I was on speaking. <laughs> okay, so we, we have a bit of a lock up and yeah, that's kind of ruined our lap. I really find the car easier to control in the race just because there are more fuel loads and everything. It's so much easier to do that first corner. I think I just need to get that first corner a bit better. Maybe if I take it in second gear from now on. There is someone right behind us, so... Uh, maybe have a bit of a race battle. Like practice here. If I don't crash. He might be making a move. We'll go to the outside. He's going to go to the inside. Oh! Oh no. See you guys in in uh, qualifying. <laughs> Actually, nah. I'll show. I'll sh let's see what happens first. I probably was my fault for locking up there, but it's only practice. We'll go into chase. Let's so see. Wheel to wheel. Oh, a bit later on the brakes, and now yeah, just lock. You can just uh, see right there. I lock up. It sends me into him. I fly over his car. Get a bit of airtime. I believe we wouldn't have done much damage to either cars. Maybe a bit of suspension damage to my rear tyre here. He seemed to be okay. He'll still respond. Well, you know what I mean. Go back to the thing. So I'll see you guys when the race starts. Okay, so I was just, um, cause you can see it here it's a bit stuck. So I decided to, you know, go like this. And fuck. In hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Had a small crash. So yeah, I'll see you guys for the race. We're gonna be staying at the back by the way, because I don't want to start at the front because it's if you stay at the front in usually in Formula V or the mid pack, so I won't start at the front. I'll stay in the mid pack. It won't wet and it won't end well. You'll probably die. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Okay, so I'm here for the race. We're staying from the back or near the back anyway. Uh, we will be starting from. Okay, so the second last row, so there's going to be two people behind us, so we still have to be careful of them. But, yeah. Um, so, Thomas Fox is on the pole. Larry Yon, I just yawned, I don't know what the. <laughs> Stefano Ambrosi, Adam Carey, Lawrence Bukins, uh, Brian Cul Culverwell, Liam Leonardo Kazniga, 
um, me, Pedro Pino von Tisabrikau de Fil, <laughs> and pa Paul Chesser. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to the grid now. The race will be starting soon. Got three wide up ahead. Oh wow. And four, and they're three wide. I don't think they made contact. These guys don't end well usually. So we kind of messed up our safety rating. Oh, there we go. Finally, one looks off. Two of them. Next guy was the leader, not is the leader. <laughs> It's a bit annoying that we uh, had to avoid that guy at the start because we did loop, we did go off track and then get rammed up behind. It's a bit annoying, but you know, we have to live with these things. It's just gonna happen. Thomas, I think it's fun. Where he's losing time. Oh, he's off. Oh, they're both off. Oof. That was close. Thomas has pulled away again. But P10 seems just fun ahead. So Thomas will have to be careful from him. Okay, he's got past him. Safely. I don't think there's really any way we could win this unless Thomas, you know, bottles it. I don't think it'll be fast enough. This back marker's gone off again. Hopefully he just lets us all the way past. Yes, he does. Thank you. Stefano's actually at the pit, it's up damage, and he's actually left. We could 
Here's what how much damage you got. Hopefully Paul ahead will let us through. We're in second. It's gonna be good for our eye rating, but I don't think our safety rating will be going up much, if any. It might even go down a small bit. I'm not sure. Please stay out of my mouth, out of my way, mate. Unless you're faster than me, which you could, you could also be, but <laughs> if I'm faster, just let me through. Probably not gonna gain anything, probably gonna lose something. Damn it. I'm gonna do an iRacing racing stream soon, if you guys want to see that. Hopefully let's bring this car home in one piece, it should be okay. Don't know if we're suffering from any damage after we got hit at the, at the start. Doesn't feel like it, but we could be losing. We could be, I've lost a small bit of top speed, I'm not sure. I don't think there's any chance of catching up anymore, definitely. So, let's have to bring this car home. Probably one or two more locks after this. I'd say two. Actually, yeah, definitely two, I'd say. Maybe even three. I believe this will be the second to last lap. Yeah, let's hold on to P P2 here. It'll be my best ever Formula V finish. I actually have an eye racing stream of the Charlotte Oval in the street stop once that's to the, uh, the calendars on that which is gonna be Wednesday but I enjoy that because it's basically flat and you know it's, it's different <laughs> I 
kept the car pretty nice and stable, consistent lap times. Since the early few offs, the only other one I can imagine is maybe when uh, yeah when, when we went off and I just lost my concentration for a second. Oh, <laughs> you can feel, hear the force feedback there. And if you guys are wondering, I'm using a Trustmaster TMX and yeah, with the normal pedals. It's probably the best cheap wheel, like cheapish wheel compared to like the, to, compared to like Fanatex or the better, the better Trustmasters. And that and the G920 or G29 or whatever, the new one, G923 or whatever it is, I don't know. <laughs> so this isn't actually the last lap, so I have one more after this. Okay, slow lap to care on the left. He's not too far ahead. I mean, he is still four seconds ahead, so hopefully he will get out of our way as soon as we catch up. Oh no, he's swung. Just don't come on the track. Oh my god. And he's the one that was given out about coming on the track when you swim. Come on, man. Come on. Oh no. It's okay, it's okay. I'll let him through. Oh my god, we get it. We nearly bottled there, but I did keep it going without any incident points as well. So Ooh, that was our second time doing this. That doing that this race, that was just a bit worse. Now hopefully this guy stays out of our way on the last lap. Because if he doesn't, you know, <laughs> it might not end well. I'm a bit wide. We're going onto the white flag now. Thomas will bottle, don't think he will, but you never know. I just don't want to get too close to this guy because uh, I don't really like it around that traffic. In case he, you know, makes a mistake and we get caught up in it. After the race, we will check uh, what happened on that one there. Someone just had a really slow start. We had to try to avoid it, and we just got hit from behind. Can we make an overtake here on this left car before the end of the race? I don't think so. Got a bit wide there, following the dirty air. Come on, we got a run in them. Come on, come on. I'm not going to get past him. And to cross the line to take P2, good result. GG. And that was a fast lap of the race, I believe, as well, there, that last lap. Oh, why is he going off track? I think off track is the best idea, mate. Well, let's um, debrief the race here going on to lack the pits because that's what I like to do. We'll stick it in four gear so we don't you know mess up. Um, it was a really good race considering our finish pump spot but I'm a bit annoyed with myself on how much penalty points I got. A lot whatever they're called, you know, incident points. I think it was like six or seven at the end, which probably gonna lose so some stuff. We will check that at the end of the race. Like when we go back to the Website. I use the website because the iRacing UI app is a bit broken for me. It doesn't let me load into Everton. So, you know. 
Let's bring this back to the pit. There you go. Aye, aye, aye. Good race. Sec so splits. Aye, aye. Okay. Our optimal was a 128.6. Ah, fast. So, yeah. Um, let's, let's check what happened in lap one. This guy doesn't even get going, so we had to avoid him. There's been a crash ahead, and then this guy just decides to, you know, go full speed, ram us. I don't know if we got damage. I think we got away with it, but we did get points for it for some stupid reason. Anyway, let's go and see how much whatever happened. So we. We actually gained 0.2, not bad. And we did gain, <laughs> that's a nice, 777. Pretty nice, that is fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we did gain, I don't know how, but I'm happy with that. Plus 70, not bad. This guy was only a rookie, so fair play to him. This guy's class C. How do you have a 1.17? How dirty have, we, have you been? How much crashes have you been in? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll be in after and goodbye. Bye, have a beautiful time.